Plumbing problems are a pretty common occurrence and something that almost everybody has to deal with at some point in their life. But having to deal with these issues can be a bit confusing at times. So in today's video, we're going to go over some plumbing hacks for everyday people. Running and clogged toilets are some of the most common plumbing problems. In fact, a leaky toilet can end up being a pretty expensive problem. If left unchecked, it can cost you a lot of money as it continues to bring out a higher water bill. If you think your toilet bowl may have a leak somewhere, there are a few at-home fixes and there's no need to call a plumber. What you need is to open the water tank in the back and add a few drops of food coloring. After you wait for about a half an hour or so, check the toilet bowl again. If you can see the color in the water, it means that you have a leak somewhere. Though it isn't exciting when you find out you have a toilet leak when you encounter this issue, there are again a few at-home solutions. For a running toilet, you need to stop water flowing by fixing the floater, which is as easy as jiggling the handle so that you can control the level of water. However, this is only a temporary fix. For a permanent one, you may have to replace the whole assembly. But if the floater isn't the problem, you should check the condition of the stop valve. On the other hand, when fixing a clogged toilet, the most important thing is to always have a plunger for each toilet in your home. As time is very valuable when you have an overflowing toilet, you don't want to spend time having to run all around the house trying to find a plunger. Another way to fix a clogged toilet without a plunger is by disconnecting the chain in the tank or by turning off the water at the valve at the back of the toilet. Another hack to unclog is with hot water. The hotter, the better. Pour hot water and a little soap into the bowl and wait. Next thing is fixing a garbage disposal, which usually get clogged due to big food particles that build up over time. But like most things, garbage disposals usually come with manuals that include instructions on proper handling. So before calling anyone if you have a clogged garbage disposal, try reading its instructions. You might find that the issue isn't so complicated and that you can fix it yourself. Not to mention, garbage disposals usually come with a hex wrench for unclogging purposes. Other than reading its manual, of course, there are plenty of other solutions. First off, you should always take cautions before doing any sort of repair and turn off or unplug the power source at the circuit breaker. Next, you should inspect the disposal with a flashlight, and if you see any obvious clogs, try to clear them with anything that's long and sturdy, but never use your fingers. If you don't see any clogs, use a sink plunger. To use it, you fill the sink with a few inches of water and then you start plunging away. Another fix to a disposal clog is with a DIY drain cleaner, which consists of even amounts of both baking soda and vinegar. Once you pour them down the drain, wait a about 30 minutes, then turn on the hot water for about a minute, and lastly, turn the power back on and test it. Another similar way to help clog drains with baking soda and vinegar is just to add hot water. Similar to the other process, you first pour baking soda into the drain and then immediately follow that by adding boiling hot water. Then you should wait about 5 minutes before you pour the vinegar as well. This will loosen debris and make any leftover food particles that may be clogging the drain wash away easier. However, with all of this said, there are some precautions that you can and should take so that you never have to deal with the disposal problems. One being that you should know how to use your garbage disposal correctly. Knowing this information ultimately helps you avoid any repairs and blockages. Here's some things that you should never put down your disposal. Fibrous foods such as asparagus, celery or sprouts, eggshells, bones, coffee grinds, fats, grease and oils, starchy foods such as beans, peels, pasta or rice and of course non-food items. Following that is a hack for replacing old shower heads with new ones. An important thing to remember is that for best efficiency for the shower heads in your house or business, you should always replace old shower heads with new ones on a regular basis. The reason being that the shower head experiences clogging due to sedimentation when it's used for an extended period of time. Another thing that could make the shower ineffective is rust. But what's good about fixing this problem is that it doesn't take too much effort and doesn't require a plumber. Similar to fixing a garbage disposal, when repairing a shower head, there's most likely an instruction manual to follow, which makes the process a bit easier. On the topic of shower heads, the next plumbing hack for everyday people is for repairing low water pressure. Normally, showers show signs of clogging whenever the water pressure reduces unusually. However, the good thing is that fixing this problem isn't too hard and you can even do it yourself. The first thing to do is close the tap. Then, to get rid of the stains and clogs, carefully remove the shower head to find the spray plate and soak them in a solution of vinegar over the span of a few hours. Finally, reconstruct the parts of the shower back together and test to see whether the the water pressure has been restored. Another common plumbing problem many face has to do with their water heater. After using it for a certain amount of time, the deposits will have piled up, which ultimately causes the unit not to work. This then is when you might start to hear rumbling noises from the tank. However, no need to worry as you can fix such a problem without the need of assistance from someone else. The first thing you need to do is switch off the water heater from the power source. After that, you need to scrape off the mineral deposits and drain the colored solution with a pipe that you can attach to the base of a heater. 
and voila, that's how easy it is to flush a water heater. You can actually repair leaking pipes under the sink in several ways. You'll need some tools including plumber's tape, a monkey wrench, and a bucket. To start off, first place the bucket directly under where the leak is. Then, using the monkey wrench, detach the pipes after closing the valve that's dispensing the water. And finally, seal the broken parts by placing the plumber's tape around the pipes and reconnect them. After that, you can test to see if they're working normally by running some water. Like most things we've discussed, some pumps are very vital, especially for homes that have basements or crawl spaces. The devices are used to pump out excess water into the main sewer line that would otherwise cause significant flooding. A problem one may face with some pumps is that they constantly run. The problem is usually caused by dirt or debris that gets lodged under the float switch. The easy fix for this, though, is to unplug the pump from the power and clean the dirt and debris for the float switch to work correctly. The last plumbing hack we have is to keep a clean sink trap. A sink trap is used to retain a small amount of water each time the sink drains. It also seals the drain and keeps the sewer gases from leaving the drain and entering your home. A tip about sink traps, according to experts, states the following. Before you remove a sink trap, give the drain a few plunges with a toilet plunger. This will push most of the water out of the trap, lessening the mess when you pull the trap off. If you have a double sink, be sure to plug the other drain to contain the air pressure. If this trainer isn't a screw-down style, you'll have to hold it down while you plunge the drain. Another important thing to keep in mind is that you should never pour hot grease down the drain, as the grease may harden over time, which will require someone to come out and order to fix the problem. However, with all of these plumbing hacks for everyday people, if you're already a plumber running your own business or just about to start and grow your own plumbing business, you must learn the four critical things plumbing business owners wish they had learned before starting a plumbing business so you don't make the same mistakes. Plumber Accelerator has put together a free training video that you can watch right now that will show you exactly how to start, grow, and build your plumbing business the right way so you can consistently guarantee profitable work, free up your time, all whilst reducing stress levels and allowing you to have a sustainable and more profitable business that works for you. In this free training video, you will also learn how to generate a steady stream of jobs on demand and with predictability month after month in your local area without relying on word of mouth and referrals, how to stop competing on price with other plumbers and escape your competition, how to convert at least 90% of your quotes and estimates into sales, how to command premium prices and attract high quality customers that will be happy to pay more. Click on the link in the description below the video. And with that said, that's going to wrap up this video. Hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.